Hello, my name is Charlie Redding and I'm a Chartered Financial Planner and the founder of Efficient Portfolio. Now one of the most commonly asked questions I see is, how do you pay for financial advice? It's not that well documented or it's not clearly talked about in our industry uh, very well. So in this video I want to talk to you through the general steps of what you go through in a financial planning process and how you might pay for that across uh, different companies in our industry. Because when I set up Efficient Portfolio in 2006, I wanted to make us truly independent. And the only way I could see that we could do that was by being fee-based. Now at the time there was a lot of commission uh, in our industry. There's still some, but we wanted, at the, even as early as 2006, to be fee-based so that it, we always charged exactly the same to our clients regardless of the advice or solution that we were using. But I want to talk you through the financial planning process. I use our process to uh, explain the process in general, but of course every company will have their own interpretation of this process. Now the first step is you've got to make contact with the firm. You've got to make sure that they understand what you're looking for, make sure that they can help you, um, make sure that they can find the right advisor within the firm to do that. Now the way that we do that at Efficient Portfolio is what's called the free finance call. It's a 15 minute-ish call with one of the financial planners here at Efficient Portfolio and it's di designed to make sure that we can help you but also that we can find the best advisor within the firm to be able to help you. Now as the name suggests for us, this is a free call. You'll find that probably most companies across the industry have some form of free initial chat or uh, you know, initial contact. The next step for us is what's what we call the exploration meeting. This will be a first meeting for, for many financial advisors. Now at a deficient portfolio, this meeting is free of charge again. We used to charge £197 for that, but actually we've decided because most of our clients come in through referrals and recommendations, and we always made it free for them, actually we decided just to make it free for everybody. Now some firms do charge for this initial meeting uh, and some firms don't. There's no right or wrong, but uh, we decided that they're all free of charge. The next stage is for the advisor to go off and design a financial plan or recommend some products for you. Now here is where the difference really starts to uh, be seen in our industry. If you've gone to a traditional financial advisor, they'll be mostly focused on the products here and they may offer to do this stage for you for free. What they're essentially doing is going off and having to find some products that they think they can sell you later on because of course they're not working for the love of it, they are working to make money and that means that they've got to sell you something later on to pay for that advice. It also means it'll be very likely that it's focused purely on the products and it's not a proper financial plan that looks into your future. So at Efficient Portfolio, we do want to build you a proper financial plan, a plan that looks at the resources you've got available to you today, what's important to you in the future, what events are likely to happen along the way, the levels of risks that are appropriate, and we build that into a financial plan that often takes us around three months to build. So we do charge a fee for that work because it takes a lot of our time and a lot of our expertise is going into that. We charge a flat fee for that work and that's between 500 and 3,000 pounds depending on the complexity and the amount of work that's involved. But we're able to tell the client at the end of that first exploration meeting what that fee is. And our fee is covered by a 100% money back guarantee. So even if you'd get the plan and think, you know, what on earth are these idiots on about? Then no questions asked, you can have your money back. As I say, some advisors don't charge anything for this. Some advisors do charge a lot for this. Depends on the type of service you're getting. But I'd be suspicious if they're saying they're gonna do this bit for you for free, because they know they're relying on having to sell you something at the back end just to cover their costs. And that puts them and you in an awkward situation. Now in the financial plan, once we know what the recommendations are and the appropriate actions to create the financial plan that's going to deliver what's important to you in the future, we break down all of our fees very clearly uh, in, in that financial plan to say this is how much the cost of doing each of the uh, pieces of uh, advice 
uh, in the plan is going, is going to cost you. We've also done a separate video that talks you through those costs in a lot more detail than this video, uh, so you might want to look out for that too. That document for us is about giving you as much clarity as possible on that fee structure. Because for me, there's too much smoke and mirrors that go on in our industry. And there's too much stuff that's hidden away that is now maybe called a fee, but really for all intents and purposes is still just like the commission that was being charged a few years ago. But for whatever it is, um, you need to make sure that you've got complete clarity of what that fee structure is. We have a really clear fee structure, means our fees are always exactly the same regardless of the type of investment we're recommending. That, as I say, is not also the case across the industry. So sometimes advisors will get paid more for investing in one type of uh, solution than another. And for us, that doesn't mean that they're truly independent because that sort of situation often creates bias. So our fees are all detailed within that plan. Uh, rather than being hidden into illustrations and th those sorts of things, which means that you probably never really look at them that closely. Of course, we also give those illustrations because they're important documents from a regulatory point of view, but they're not the most client-friendly documents. And so breaking our fees down in the plan is far more important. Whatever it is that you do though, you will pay for advice at this stage because ultimately, otherwise they're working for free. And there is no magic life insurance company in the sky that's handing out free advice. They all need to be paid for the advice that you, that you give. So that's what we'll get talked about in our planning meeting. But we also sent it to you beforehand in the plan so that you've got a clear understanding of what they are. Now, of course, that's where the process can end, end for a lot of people. And you can drift off into the ether and get forgotten about and have your financial planning gradually get less and less appropriate to your ever-changing life. But that's not the way that we believe that you should work. So we have what we call the progressive review program, which is where we ensure our financial planning for their clients evolves with them. And that we have a number of de different tiers of ongoing service. We have planning clients, family clients, and private clients, so that you can pick a tier that's right for you. Now, again, some firms charge a lot more than us in this area. Some charge very little. I say very little. Actually, quite often, you can find that you're paying quite a lot, but not getting any ongoing active advice. Other firms will charge you a lot, and then only give you the investment advice rather than maybe rebuilding your lifetime cash flow forecast every year, which is what we believe our top clients should be getting. But that's the different stages of the financial planning process. It's important that you understand those stages and then you understand the fees that are associated with each one. As I said, we want to be truly independent, so we try and give you as much clarity as possible. And we want to help you create a better future through inspirational financial planning. Thank you.